What's going on everybody out there? This is Popular Stranger and we are back at you again today with another Madden 24 Ultimate Team video. In today's video, we're going to be breaking down the Theme Team All-Stars promo, going over everything you need to know about it, how to get all of the free content, and that includes a 99 overall Odell Beckham Jr. We got a new field pass. We got solo challenges, but we're going to start with the Welcome Pack. Now, the Welcome Pack is going to feature a 92 overall Zach Martin, and the way that this promo works, for the majority of the cards, they all started a 92 overall and they're going to be upgraded with a brand new alternate currency if you look at the top right of your screen you're going to notice to the far left of that next to training there is a new currency this is for the theme team all-stars program and you're going to need theme team coins to upgrade these players from a 92 to a 99 so typically when we get a welcome pack player you get tokens and the tokens will upgrade that player eventually to its max overall this one is not going to work that way and it is actually a really good card but you might want to avoid up upgrading it if you already happen to have Robert Hunt over at right guard because Robert Hunt was a free card that a lot of people took from the weekly wild card solo challenges who gets secure protector for zero AP. I will say this card is better because he's going to get all 32 team cams. As long as you don't put Cowboys cam on this card, it should play very good for you. Uh, but the only problem is to upgrade it, you're going to need those steam team coins and you're going to need a total of 4,305 to get him from a 92 to a 99 overall. Again, he is going to get secure protector for zero AP. He gets all 32 NFL team cams and he also will get all day for zero AP along with the secure protector. So it is a better card than Robert Hunt, but it is actually going to cost you something to upgrade it. Now you can earn theme team coins for free amongst the solo challenges and house rules and the field pass, but you might want to use those coins to upgrade one of the other 32, 92 overall cards up to a 99 overall. So when it comes to the solo challenges, there's 96 stars available right now, four different sequences with 24 stars each. This is a two part promo. So more solos will be added a week from today that will then allow you to max out all of these rewards in the field pass. So early on tier one, you get a 92 overall fantasy pack. Again, these cards can go up to a 99. They started a 92. So this is a good reward. This is going to allow you to pick any one of the 32 overall players or 92 overall players. There's 32 of them in total. Uh, you get to pick one that you want to upgrade. Tier two is going to give you a theme team all-stars token. Now I will show you exactly what those tokens unlock in a little while here, but it's going to basically lead to that theme team coin currency that you're going to need to upgrade those players. You get some XP for the field pass at tier three. And then at tier four, you get yet another theme team all-stars token. You're going to get a third one of those tokens at tier eight, which is 185 stars. And you need three of those tokens to cash them in for a 97 overall player that quick sells for those theme team coins. So those tokens will be valuable and it's not the only place that you can earn them. They are also going to be in the field pass rewards as well. Not quite sure what's in the theme team all-star option pack. I think I saw a couple of those in the field pass as well. And then just going backwards at tier five, you're going to get your second 92 overall card for free. That player is eligible to be upgraded to a 99 overall. So when it comes to the theme team all-stars field pass, you got a bunch of different things that you're going to earn in here. Level two, you get yet another 92 overall theme team all-stars fantasy pack. This is going to give you one of the 32 players of your choice that can be upgraded to a 99. We saw those in the solo challenges. You got a bunch of season six field pass XP, which of course is great. At level four, you're going to get 350 of the theme team coins, and you'll be able to get more of those coins as you progress through this field pass. More XP. Now at level six, at level 10, and then a little bit further down here at level 14, you're going to get those theme team exchange tokens. Same things that we saw in the milestone rewards for the solos. Basically, three of these tokens will turn into a 97 overall theme team all-star player. Now, I'm going to go over the best 97s to take from this pack, and there's one specifically in Jordan Mailata that's a middle linebacker who gets like mid-zone KO, lurk artist, and tackle supreme all together for zero AP. But one of the main reasons you're going to want these 97 overall cards, they get really good discounted ability. They're not bad cards. A lot of them are out of position, but they also quick sell for 1,800 theme team coins. So this is going to be a way to turn these tokens 
into currency and the currency is going to be used to upgrade those players from a 92 to a 99 overall we're going to break down all of the math and the best players to upgrade in a video probably later today so stay tuned for that but if you were wondering what these tokens do that's what they do and again you get three in the field pass three in the solo challenges so far there's more theme team coins going backwards level 12 you get 450 we mentioned the season 6 xp that's in there at level 8 you're going to get a low theme team all-stars option fantasy pack not quite sure what's going to be in that one and the opposite of that is at level 15 when you max this out you get a high theme team all-stars option fantasy pack i don't know if this is going to give you the currency if it's going to give you a quick sell card because there are 94s at quick sell 97s we talked about and 99 overalls that all quick sell for this currency so maybe the high pack is a 97 plus the low pack is a 94 we'll have to wait and see once people start earning enough xp to unlock that reward and of course everything you need to do to earn xp to level up this field pass will be found in the objective tab the set section is a a little bit different you're gonna have to complete two of those 97 overall b and d sets that we talked about with the tokens in order to get the xp off of this one you get one done you get 1.5k you get a second done one you get the same reward a second time we do have a house rules in this in this promo as well 20 wins will get you some xp within the field pass and as always more objectives should be added when part two of this promo drops next thursday now when it comes to house rules this is going to be a tug of war style house rules where x factors are on for the entire game you're going to want to do like universal coverage or unstoppable force either get a pass rush going or get knockouts on defense and if we take a look at the reward structure in here it is going to be based off of how many games you can win and the rewards are going to be as follows you're going to get theme team all-star coins you're going to get a 92 plus pack more coins here you're gonna get a low theme team all-stars option pack i believe there's a high one in here as well no there isn't it's just two low packs we still don't know exactly what's gonna be in those but if you take a look at the very end here it's gonna be 80 wins you get this 99 overall b and d theme team all-star odell beckham jr this is a very very good free card i know 80 wins seems like a lot but these games are going to go pretty quickly and to me especially with some with an account uh where i have a no money spent account it's absolutely going to be worth it to go out and get this card i don't know if i'll be playing on my main account because i don't really need him because i have other wide receivers and there's a bunch that came out today that i want to try out as well but if you're no money spent or little money spent this card is one that you should go after and get on your team so if you're confused on how this promo works or how to get the players you probably went over to the set section and only saw one option here and that is correct that's it the 97 overall theme team all-star token exchange one more time three tokens from solos three from the field pass allows you to do this set two different times to two, to get two, two different 97 overall cards that you can either keep or quick sell for the theme team coins there's no sets to get the players which i'm actually a little surprised at but to get any of these players you're going to need their 92 overall card and then you're going to upgrade them so there's no way to go out and buy them at a 99 overall really right now the only option you have is either the auction house and some are probably going to go for a little bit more than others uh, but you can see here we're sorted by theme team all-stars and we got a bunch of 92s i shouldn't even say a bunch there's only a couple of them and then a bunch of these 94s 97s and 99s these do quick sell for the theme team coins you can use them on your team we mentioned the jordan mylata the kyle pitts card is really good for the 99 overall cards i don't even see him on here but there's a strong safety harold carmichael that is probably uh, one of the best cards in the game you can see the ed too tall jones is three million coins so really if you you want any of these cards you're just looking to either buy the 92s off of the auction house or you can head on over to the store and get them with training and i'll explain that in a moment i do want to show you these cards in the catalog so you know what to expect uh all of the 92s and we'll look for an eagle here we'll look for Devonte smith which i happen to have already and i'll show you how i got that card uh, if you go to the upgrade path you're gonna see it's the same thing as that welcome pack zach martin 4305 of those steam team coins to get him all the way up to a 99 overall now when they're at a 99 overall they get access to two zero ap ability buckets 
And some of the options that some of these cards have are absolutely insane. So for Devontae, you could get, if you want, Route Technician and Evasive together for zero AP. And that's going to, you know, help him beat man coverage. And we all know how good Evasive and Jukebox is on wide receivers right now. So, you know, that's one thing that I would recommend. And if you go in, these Ability Buckets are going to look exactly like Ability Buckets 3 and 4. The only difference is they're not zero AP. So they basically copied everything in Ability Buckets 3 and 4 four and put them in the buckets four and five but all at zero ap and there's some really really crazy options so wide receivers not so much but when we start to talk about defensive backs and pretty much anybody on defense we're now looking at players who can get film study for zero ap which to me isn't a terrible terrible ability to go against because often you find that a lot of bad players use this ability so naturally they're just not that great at the game now that it's zero ap and it's so easily available on so many of these cards you're probably going to see a lot of skilled players start using this as well so we'll see what happens with this one if ea raises the cost on it but when you talk about defensive players you got this for zero uh one step ahead is a really good ability in my opinion especially for people who run man coverage so you're getting that for zero on any defensive backs tackle supreme for zero is great against players who have that angry runs x factor uh for running backs out there you get your ko's now deep route ko deep out zone ko gonna be zero which is good but no deep zone ko which is deep in and deep out together so that's one that's a little bit you know we, we wish that that would be on defensive backs but you you can see it here any of the knockout abilities flat zone mid zone short route mid route everything acrobat is all zero AP just dependent on the position. So I mentioned getting the 92 overalls right now. Before I show you this, the only way is to go out there and buy them off the auction house. Well, if you ha if you happen to have 40,000 training, which luckily I have a bunch of that, especially over on my main account or my no money spent account, um, you can basically open up a pack for 40K training. That's how I got Devontae Smith. And if you scroll through any of these cards, you can get any one of the 92 overalls of your choice. And that's going going to allow you to upgrade these players to a 99 overall for that same amount, the 4,305 theme team coins that you're going to need to upgrade them. So I'm going to go ahead and take Rasul Douglas at this point. Now, with the promo last year, which was called Theme Team Remix, you could actually quick sell these cards for Theme Team Remix coins. And I thought that would be the same scenario with this year's promo. Unfortunately, it's not. So these cards only quick sell for training. That's the 92 overall. So 94, 97s, and 99s, they will quick sell for the coins. The 92s do not. There's an opportunity pack for $25, which gives you three 95 plus elite players, and then either a 94 plus theme team all star player or a 99 overall player, including LTDs in there. So that pack is probably going to be worth it if you're looking for the theme team coins in general, because you're going to get at least a 94 out of that one. There is a pack for a, a little bit under $25 that gives you seven 94 plus theme team all-star players. This one is going to be great, again, if you're going after getting coins to upgrade those players from a 92 to a 99 overall. But later today, we'll be dropping a video going over how to upgrade those players for free, and we'll see how many 99s you can get for free once you max out all of your field pass rewards, your house rules, and your milestone rewards within the solos. Here's the $100 bundle. It's so late in the year, I probably wouldn't recommend spending $100 on, $100 on any of these bundles. You do have coin packs, and it doesn't look like they're limited. So this is going to give you two 92-plus Steam Team All-Star players and then one 86-plus player. Now, I would have to think the likelihood of you getting anything higher than a 92 is probably going to be slim, but anytime that you happen to get a 94, 97, or 99, that's currency to upgrade one of these 92s. And as we saw early on, these cards, there weren't a ton of them on the auction house. Now, as the minutes go by, more are definitely going to pop up. But if you want to take your chance at any of the cards and you got a lot of coins, you can go ahead and open up this pack. I do like that it's not limited at least, but I still wish that the 92 overall cards would have quick sold for theme team coins as well. There is a reroll uh, pack, a 92 plus pack for that same currency. The theme team remix coins or theme team coins. I would probably stay away from this one. This pack, I mean, just, I don't think so. It's the equivalent to 300K with the way the market is right now. So if you want to YOLO it, I mean, go for it. It's not limited. So I'm very curious to see what people get out of this one. I might do a quick TikTok video and open up like 
three of them maybe just to see what happens for content purposes but generally speaking I'd probably stay away from that one and we showed you what you can get for the 40k training you get a 92 overall fantasy pack so a lot going on with this promo we got more videos to make talking about the best players to upgrade and how you can upgrade these players for free so stay tuned for more but thank you for watching this one my name is popular stranger I'm out peace